Hello, this is Dr. Stanley Kim, Hematology in 10 Minutes series. Today, we will review the uh, peripheral blood smear examination under microscope. Uh, less and less doctors are examining the blood smear under microscope nowadays, uh, but I'd like to show you that how much information we can get through uh, examining the uh, blood smears. Reticulocytes are immature red blood cells composing about 1 to 2 percent of total red blood cells. Having a reticular network of ribosomal RNAs, as you see in this photo, that only can be seen under microscope with the super vital stains such as new methylene blue stain. It has no nucleus. In normal uh, peripheral blood smear examination, you can't really recognize reticulocytes. You just simply assume uh, when you see the large uh, bluish red blood cells. Nuclear RBC is a precursor of reticulocytes, still having nucleus. You can uh, recognize it easily, but you can't, if you see this in the peripheral blood, it's kind of a pathological situation. Through erythropoiosis in bone marrow, reticulocytes are released and circulate for one day uh, before developing into mature red blood cells. Nuclear RBC is only seen in the peripheral blood of newborn infants, otherwise not normally seen. Reticulocyte count is a good indicator of bone marrow activity. When the bone marrow is active in making red blood cells, uh, its number goes up high, such as in uh, hemolytic anemia, anemia recovery from treatments uh, from iron or vitamin deficiencies. When the bone marrow activity is down, reticulocyte count is low, such as in aplastic anemia, pernicious anemia, during or after chemotherapy, vitamin mineral deficiency anemia of chronic disease. As I said, the nuclear RBCs are not seen in peripheral blood in normal situation, but they can be seen in three pathological situations. When there is a high demand, uh, for bone marrow to produce red blood cells, such as in hemolytic anemia or thalassemia, or when erythropoiosis is taking place other than bone marrow, such as spleen, because the bone marrow is so fibrotic and uh, can't be a suitable place to produce blood, then uh, spleen, sometimes spleen or even liver, uh, become a place to produce the uh, blood cells. But those organs have no checkpoints. The cells produced in, in the spleen release to the bloodstream right away. That's why we can see those nuclear RBCs and other immature cells uh, in myelofibrosis. Another situation condition you can see those nuclear RBCs, so-called myelofibrosis, Myelophthisic anemia. Uh, when the bone marrow is occupied by cancer cells like a leukemia, lymphoma, metastatic cancer, and the normal blood cells, precursor cells, are kicked out of bone marrow prematurely by, by those bad guys. Target cells are most commonly seen in all thalassemia patients. This patient has a thalassemia trait but also can be seen in hemoglobin C disease and the severe iron deficiency anemia. Schistocytes, fragmented cells, some look like uh, helmets, very specific for microangiopathic hemolytic anemia, such as DIC, TTP, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, and the hemolytic uremic syndrome. You also can uh, see in the malignant hypertension. Teardrop cells are seen in myelofibrosis where bone marrow is so fibrotic that RBCs are squeezed out of the fibrotic marrow. We studied that in myelofibrosis, the bone marrow is not a good place to produce blood cells because of fibrosis. Then other organs such as spleen is used to make blood cells and the patients with the myelofibrosis usually have splenomegaly. Roulette are the uh, uh, stacks of uh, red blood cells forming a shape of vertebral spine. 
they develop when plasma protein concentration is high, such as in multiple myeloma or Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. Of course, patients having this relay formation have a high SED rate, ESR, because of increased pro protein levels in the blood. The uh, basophilic stippling in the red blood cell is a ribosomal RNA, commonly seen in lead poisoning, lead poisoning, but also can be seen in megaloblastic anemia or hemolytic anemia. The burr cells and the uh, spur cells look alike, but when you see them carefully, you would distinguish each other. The spur cells have a spiny uh, uh, thorns. Burr cells are also called echinocytes and are commonly seen in kidney failure patients. Spur cells are called acanthocyte, uh, seen in the, uh, uh, liver failure. The Heinz body is the uh, denatured hemoglobin from G6PD enzyme deficiency. Those Heinz body was beaten up by uh, a, a macrophage in spleen resulting in bite cells. Remember, G6PD enzyme deficiency made the hemoglobin unstable and break down, showing as a Heinz body, which was beaten resulting in a, a bite cells. How will jolly body is the uh, nuclear DNA remnants and the RBCs having the how old jolly body are supposed to be destroyed by the spleen. But patients have no spleen, now RBCs having how old jolly body can be circulated in the peripheral blood. So you expect the patients having how old jolly body has no spleen, such as patients with hereditary uh, uh, spherocytosis or uh, sickle cell anemia. Patients with hereditary spherocytosis often need splenectomy for treatment. Or sickle cell anemia patients develop autosplenectomy by recurrent splenic infarctions. Spleen can be ruptured by trauma or with infections such as infectious mononucleosis or mycoplasma infection. Hypersegmented neutrophils. In this case, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, uh, lobes, hyperlobulated neutrophils. Uh, kind of a hallmark for megaloblastic anemia due to vitamin B12 folic acid deficiency or in pernicious anemia, but recently uh, 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 there are reports that this hypersegmented neutrophils can be seen in iron deficiency anemia in children. Lymphocytes are normally small, but they can react to viral infections and change their shape to, be, uh, to become uh, atypical lymphocytes. You need to be careful as they sometimes look like a blast. This is my patient who had a, a cytomegalovirus infection, developing many atypical lymphocytes. Smudge cells, multiple smudge cells are characteristics of chronic lymphocytic leukemia, CLL. They are fragile lymphocytes smeared easily. Many reports said, uh, reports that uh, um, the more smudge cells, the better prognosis. Hairy cell leukemia. It's a B lymphocyte origin, and the recent report sh shows that 100% cells have a BREF mutation V600E. The hairy cells are TREP stain positive. It's a tartrate resistant acid phosphatase. Almost always have a splenomegaly, but lymphadenopathy is uncommon. Look at this hairy cell having a, lots of hair in the cytoplasm. I want to show you the uh, plasma cells. Normally, you can't see in the purple blood smear unless the patient has a multi myeloma. Our rods, it's a characteristic uh, cytoplasmic 
red rods uh, seen in the uh, acute promyelocytic leukemia. Uh, it's a uh, pretty characteristic, but it also can be seen in other types of AML, acute myeloblastic leukemia. You can see the small ones here. Dell body, Dell body is a uh, kind of characteristic for Shedia-Higashi syndrome. We studied in the previous presentations. 